everyone, this is Bethany and I'm here to show you another great digital resource you can access from home. Today's resource is MerckManuals.com, which provides health information about different disorders, treatments, medications, and more. So to get to this resource, you can access all of our digital resources from the Davidson County Government page, co.davidson.nc.us. Um, from there, go to Government and under Departments, look for Library. And then on the left hand side, you will see a link for ebooks and digital resources, which will take you to this page. And they are sorted by topic. So if you scroll down under health and medical information, you'll see a couple of great um, medical information databases. And you can click the link for Merck Manual. Because Merck Manual is a free online resource, it's not something we pay a subscription for. You can just type in directly into your URL bar, merckmanuals.com to get there as well. Now to give you a bit of background information on Merck manuals, it has been around since 1899 in its print version as a reference aid for doctors and pharmacists. And in 2014, Merck began publishing the guide online as a free public service. So you can get to it from any computer just by pulling it up in your web browser. Now, uh, Merck is a pharmaceutical company, so it's important to know that the articles within this database um, are reviewed by an independent editorial board of medical prof professionals that are not allowed to be employed by Merck. And the FDA requirements also mean that they contract with an outside company to provide the drug information to avoid bias towards drugs produced by Merck. When you get to the Merck manual website, there are options to either use the professional version or the consumer version. The professional version uses a bit more technical language. It also has some clinical calculators and case studies of features that would be more useful if you do work in the medical field. And the consumer version is meant to be um, clear and easy to understand, more of an eighth grade re reading level maximum. So if you click on that, it will provide just some general medical information. Now, of course, there is a disclaimer on the website. It's important to know that this isn't meant to replace the advice of a medical professional and that you should seek medical advice from a professional if you are concerned about your health. Now, on here, there's a lot of great resources for you to read about different health topics. Um, so you can browse by common topics, you can go alphabetically here to find lists of articles, or you can search if you have a keyword you want to look up. You can also search by different symptoms and they have those grouped by different parts of the body. And you can also find some good first aid and emergency information either here under this quick link or here under emergencies at the top if you want to review things on CPR or things to do if someone's choking things like that. Of course, if you have a real urgent emergency happening in front of you, call 911. Um, and then they have drug information about different medications, like I said before. So you can search for different drugs. You can look um, them up by their generic or their brand name or their official name, any of those. And you can get information about different side effects, um, what they're used for, all sorts of things about what you need to know about different medications. And another great resource on here is their normal lab values information. So if you have recently had a test done, you can compare your results to the normal lab values. They've also got some great um, visual aids. So if you have an upcoming procedure or things like that, sometimes they'll have some little videos or uh, diagrams and things that can be helpful for you to feel knowledgeable about what's going on. And of course, right now they've got some great COVID-19 resources as well. And then if uh, you want more health information, you can also check out Medline Plus is another of our health information links. So they have very similar information on there if you want to kind of do a compare and contrast. And another great one is nchealthinfo.org if you want stuff specifically about healthcare in North Carolina. And it has some good links for some free and discounted services. Both of those you can just type directly in your address bar as well. So I hope you find these resources helpful. You can always contact at the us at the library for help.